Hey guys, Lucas Creations here, and I know you clicked on this video to make this, so let's get right into it. So once you have your picture, you want to put it over a white background in Photopea, and as soon as you have that, you want to go in here. I like to usually grab the eraser tool first, and I make it around 30-ish. I come around my guy after I clicked on him, make sure I'm clicked on him. Oh, I'm going to rasterize it too. I come around and I just run this around with the eraser first, do it roughly, quickly, and try not to cut anything. If you do cut anything, just hit Control Z to bring it back. Once you get that all done, you want to come over here and grab your magic wand and get rid of all of this stuff that's not connected now by just clicking on it and hitting backspace, backspace. Do the same with this side. Try not to delete the guy, and if you do, just hit Control Z. And now we come in with the eraser, and we clean all of this up. Oh, I gotta Control Z because I'm selecting something. We come in, we clean all of this excess up. Clean it all up. And we come in, we bring the eraser, and clean up these edges as much as you can with this big eraser. Oh, I cut a little bit of the white background over here. That's not good. And once you get it all looking pretty clean, Now once you have it looking how you want it, you take your black panther and you duplicate layer. As soon as you do that, you want to come in here, click on the one below your duplicated one, click filter, liquify, grab this first one, and you want to drag all of this out to the end. Drag it, drag it, drag it. And once you get it all to the edge on one side, you do the other side. Keep on dragging. It's going to look weird, but this is how you do it. Grab it, do the other side. Drag it all right out to the other end you can do it quick or you can do it slow it will look better if you do it slow and then you hit ok when you're done you take this and you see this little button down here click layer mask when you go on the layer mask you want to invert it now you're going to go here, and you're going to get another layer mask, but you're going to keep this one white. And then, in the description of this video, I'm going to have some brushes for you to put on your eraser. So you're going to get rid of the current tool only, click on this, click load TPL, and take these explosion brushes link. It's going to say brush added. You come down here. You want to grab your brushes, resize them. Click on your mask and start making your effects all around Black Panther. Make some on, on his actual body. You can change brushes. Do whatever you want to whatever you think looks good. And then, for the next part, you want to go and you want to find a texture. So if you go on here and you look up ice textures, it's, 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 
cool one to start with. You find a nice ice texture. You see this one? We'll take... I like this one. So we're going to take this here. You're just going to slap it over everything. Oh, that's a bad fire. What about this one? Okay. Once it loads in, drag it so that it fits the whole page. And you go here. You go to blending options. Make sure no opacity down. This one's very obnoxious. But you get it, right? So we go and we can find galaxy textures. Hmm. I like this one. So you throw this in here. Unknown file. I like this one then. Okay. You want to go here, blending options. You can make it more vibrant and however you want. You can add more marks to make it look better. But this is the general idea on how to create this picture that I created. So if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button and be sure to check out my other ones. Thank you.